Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Show It Better. Welcome to another episode of reviewing your work. Of um, I'm not sure how, to, how I call the series yet. Uh, maybe reviewing your work, maybe re reviewing your presentation boards. I'm not sure. This is our third episode. Uh, it would be grateful if you guys can tell me if you can hear me. Let me see. Can you guys hear me well? I would love to read you in the comments um, and see where you're from, what you're up to, what you're doing right now. I think you guys can't hear me. Well, I'm hearing myself. So without further ado, let's start. Let's start. Hey, Midam. What's up? What's up? How is everything? All right. So I'm going to tell you guys uh, what we're going to do. And hey, Adrian, what's up? Okay, so this is our third episode of our presentation board review. This is the last one this month, the, for the last one for this month of February. Hey, Ugo. Hey, Painful Sound. What are you guys up to? And it's going to be a very fun episode. Last, The first episode we did, we had some technical issues and it got cut off like right, right in the middle. Uh, the second episode, <clears throat> if you guys were here, you can remember that I had some very noisy neighbors and um, they were drilling on the wall. So I'm not sure what's going to happen in this episode. Um, maybe there's going to be noise. I live right next. I live in like in an apartment in Colombia, and I live right next to a park as well. So there are all, always people passing by, dogs. Uh, there's a street, you know, like a, many cities around the world. And I'm sure you guys can understand that under the pandemic situation that we're living in right now, it can be a bit tough to do these these uh, these spaces. But if you're watching this, um, if you're watching this not live, but after this, and if we do have any problems, any issues with the sound, then there will be some timestamps down below. So you can uh, skip those if there are any maybe annoying things. And if you're here live, then I would uh, greatly appreciate um, be patient, let's be patient, and let's wait and see what happens. So, having that said, I want to also announce that next week, that is going to be Thursday, the 4th of March, I am going to do my first portfolio review, and we're going to do it um, with a very special guest. And this is the guest. That, um, can, you, can any of you guys guess who, it's, who it is? It is a fellow YouTuber. It is also a, a friend of mine that I deeply appreciate. Hey, Diana, what's up? Hey, Sofia. Hey, Stavolarte, Juliet. Hey, Ridma. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see you guys all connected. So I'm going to do this with a fellow friend of mine and YouTuber that I think you guys know as well and I love, which is Oliver from, exactly, Oliver from Upstairs. Exactly, Sofia. Oliver from Upstairs. And we're going to do a portfolio review next week. Um, here on my channel and maybe after this we're going to do um, a portfolio review on his channel or something we're going to try to collaborate and uh, this is an, op an open invitation for any other youtubers that also want to review works with me you are fully invited so maybe um, rasha from surviving architecture bennett from archi hacks uh, eric from 30 by 40 anyone who wants to join in i would love to have you guys in and hear your opinion hear what you guys have to say about um, you know the work of all of our community all of our followers I would love to hear that and yeah next uh, the first re next week we're gonna have Oliver from upstairs reviewing our portfolio so if you want your portfolio to be to be reviewed I suggest that you send your portfolio to the email that appears right here in um, in the screen I think you guys can see it it's uh, hello at show it better um, you can send your portfolio so please Please uh, send us a only a PDF that can be you know maximum five megabytes. So no we transfers, no Google Drives because that can be very heavy and very time consuming. So send us a, like on the screen right here. I think over here in this little box that you guys can see right here, there is an an email that it says hello at showitbetter.co. You can send it right there. And yeah, we're not going. Obviously, we're going to have like an hour and a half. We're not going to review all of them. We're going to try to review uh, the best that we can. And the we're going to leave the other ones for next episode. So don't worry. You're not going to be left out yet. And that is applies as well for this episode. 
this is our last episode this month of presentation boards but if your presentation board was not reviewed it could be for many reasons first of all it could be that we're going to leave it for another episode so no worries just keep on tuning in uh second reason it can be a very good presentation board so there is actually no corrections to make so good job or the third reason is that it can be like a very it can be a presentation board that has a lot of corrections to make and i'm we're trying to well, i'm trying to select presentation boards that have um cor like corrections that a lot of people would that it would be useful for a lot of people right so maybe when we have a lot of corrections to make on the design on the presentation boards it can be a little bit hard for everyone so that is it one last announcement one last announcement before we start is that in case a lot of people have been asking me like hey i like this presentation board live reviews i want you to review my presentation board or i would look to, like to know how i can improve my presentation boards much more there are two options first of all if you want your presentation board uh, reviewed in a faster way you can join our patreon you can uh, there we have priority or second you can join our presentation boards course where you will have access to a, like a four hour course on this and that is it so um without further ado let's start i am seeing uh shane hey what's up shane what's cracking sebastian hey sebastian um musa edvinas adrian i'm seeing redima musa again sofia do we send the presentation board in pdf or psd oh please send it in pdf no psd files because it's very heavy and it's very difficult for like to open a lot of psd files because it can be very 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 heavy and yeah so we have a lot of people right now connected and let's start with re this review i'm really excited and i'm really excited to see if, if there's anything that comes up if there's any what's up what's up what's up i think I'm, we're, we're going to be reviewing your um your presentation board today so stay tuned for that all right so i'm going to change the camera here right here and i'm going to show you guys the presentation boards let me know if you guys are seeing them in the comments and um this episode is going to be a little bit different from the past two episodes if you haven't seen the past two episodes uh they're i think they're really good i think the first one is really good the second one too no i think they're both really good and in case you want to see them they will there will be a, play, a playlist on my youtube channel only on presentation board reviews so i suggest you go and see them if you haven't seen them yet because there's a lot of you know, golden nuggets that you can get there um that will be maybe useful for you depending on the level that you are in in kind of like presentation boards and all that stuff and uh i'm oh, sorry and for this episode we're going to review this presentation board by abhishek this presentation board by devat this one by steven um this one by jaime and this one by utsaf right so one two three four five i'm going to try to review all of these this is not going to be like a, a very thorough review as as last time that i'm going to like kind of like try to remake that i tried to remake each presentation board because that can take us about i don't know five hours six hours and i don't want to keep you guys here for long i just want to tell you like make some general corrections that uh you guys can make to each presentation board some general recommendations if there is any or some you know, things that are really really good and yeah i don't want to take too long because uh in the last episode i just reviewed i think one board throughout like 40 minutes and it was very extensive it was i think it was very good but it was very very extensive and i want to make sure to i can review more like more portfolios from you guys so having that said let's start let's start are you guys excited um let's do this shit let's do this all right so the first <clears throat> presentation board is by abhishek and he sent me this presentation board uh which is a uh, public toilet in daravi i'm not sure if this is the same competition from that that uh devat participated in because it's also a public toilet which is called a plug-in so it may be the same competition so it's a nice occasion for us to compare both of them not saying like which is best or which is worst not not like that but what uh, things we can apply from one to the other or something like that but here we're not here to like bash on anyone or any sort so this is a, this presentation board i really like honestly it has very few corrections for me to make um it doesn't like it's, it has a very nice represent, representation it has a very nice style if you guys can see he has one two three four renders for like perspective like three perspectives and one kind of like at at cinematic like a parallel projection 
kind of a render, which is very nice because it's very detailed. You can see that he put a lot of effort in the materials, in the perspective, in like the context buildings. It's there's a lot of detail on these on these drawings, and I think they're very 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 good. So I don't have I don't have much to say, and obviously here we're here to more mostly comment on the graphic design of the presentation board and not the actual design of the project so for me this project could be good could be perfect but maybe for the jury it was different i'm not sure so i'm not sure if this is a winning project or not i have no idea but i know that it has a very 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 good representations these perspectives are really good um i would maybe ask if since this is such a small project it has to show a lot of things in a very small space so i imagine this is the only presentation board so you know maybe i, I would have uh, considered showing another point of view because this these two point of views look let me just uh signal them here these two point of views look more or less the same right so there is a perspective right here which is more or less like in the same same angle the only thing that changes is that here we have a library and here we don't here we have some desks so the only change, thing that changes is the use, but uh, maybe maybe you had to show that because you know that's because that's you had to show like everything you had. So um, maybe it was because of that. And here we can see more or less like the entrance, which I think uh, also could be a, can, could be improved a little bit. Um, I'm not sure. Well, you know, we're receiving a lot of top, a lot of different people in the. Um, like in in the project of course but this guy like these two guys look very suspicious i'm not sure you know they look very suspicious like he's like hesitating like if he wants to go pee or not because obviously this is a uh like the whole project is a bathroom so he's trying to go pee and this one is also like in a weird position so and and with this one we can't see the reflection of him so we were supposed to see this guy right here so it would maybe be a little bit more interesting to see that and here i would have just added maybe a little bit of text to make it a little more um i don't know like exciting for example if this is a bathroom let's say this is the men's bathroom right and i'm just gonna make this try to make this bigger and let's just put this in white and sometimes, you know, a lot of like in a lot of buildings, there's a lot of effort put in all of the graphic design of um, of these uh, like of the signage. I think it's called in, in English. Whoops, I think I have to rast rasterize it first. Let's rasterize this type. Let's put it right here. I'm not sure if it would be men's because it, it sounds kind of weird or maybe it's just men, right? Or man. I'm not sure. I haven't gone to in to another like an English bathroom in a long time. Okay, so this doesn't look as well as I thought. Maybe kind of like this. And just lower the opacity. I'm not sure. No, this this doesn't it doesn't look good, but how do I learn your contact? But I would put much more signage here just to make all of this building, like all of these perspectives much more interesting. Uh, here, I love that you have some site plans showing, uh, you know, where the project is located because I think it's the, one of the most important parts. But I'm not sure if the colors are on point because here, like in the whole project, there are very specific color palettes of like, first of all, this brick color, which is like this, this brown color. There's also this um, kind of metalish color of, of, the, of the roof, which we can see like right here. And then we have our whites. And maybe we have a little bit of green, right? So that is the color palette that we're in. But then you have, uh, you have a blue and you have a purple over here. And maybe you have this kind of orange here which the orange goes out. But I would maybe su suggest uh, considering uh, like to see if we can change, we could, we could change the color of these, 
these site plan with, with these location plans into something that just blends in a little bit more and doesn't stand out um, and doesn't get my attention so quick because I want my attention to go first of all to the perspective to the actual project. So maybe you know we could colorize it and I don't know maybe color it in a like in a light blue, for example, and maybe uh, we can have some contrast on it, so we can you know differentiate some things. So this looks a little bit more greenish. So maybe kind of like, kind of like this. I'm not yeah like this or maybe t towards the browns. But just have it in a color that doesn't get a lot of our attention. More or less like this, right? So we're going to have a desaturated blue which is you know, it gets our, our attention a little bit less. So I'm just going to turn it off and turn it on as you guys can see. Like that purple sometimes just stands out a lot and tries to get our attention. And if we desaturate it just a little bit, it may look a little bit more interesting. And one of the last comments I have about this presentation board, I like the name. I like that he has different types of, uh, you know, this axonometric where you can under understand the whole project. He has some floor plans. Um, it's like it's all very detailed. It's all very nice. And I imagine that the text in itself, it has a lot of important information. So, um, it's a very like a strict space where he has some clean lines in the grid. Like he has like, uh, or she, I'm not sorry, I'm not, I'm not sure if she or he, but there's, a, there's a, some very clean lines. Although over here we can see that, that the grid is a, a little bit broken, but no worries, it's not that notorious. So we have a very nice grid, right? We have big image, three columns, three columns right here, and also a, a big text. I like it, right? It, it's a very, very nice, nice image. But maybe I would try. I'm, I'm not sure if you can, but I would try to make the text a little bit, a little bit, um, not smaller, but less text, so we can have a little bit more white space. The, the, the only thing that this needs is just to try and take off things because it's all very condensed. It's very dense. Everything is just uh, you know, stuck, stuck together in a bus and it just looks a lot like there's a lot of things we, that we have to look at right here. And I would maybe try to erase things, right? Do like, do we need these three site plans? Maybe we, we only need one. Do we need um, these three perspectives? Maybe we only need one big one. I'm not sure. Like maybe you can't erase any, any of this and you know, that that's it. But if you could, what I would do is, you know, try to make more white space so everything could breathe a little bit more. Um, maybe try to ask yourself, like, if what I'm saying via text has already been said via diagrams and renders, right? So because sometimes when it's already said, there's no need to put the text that just confirms it. Right, so in this case, like in, in occasions like this, we could, you know, make these these kind of representations bigger and just have more white space to breathe. But in case you can't, you know, no worries. It's something that happens. But overall, I think it's a very good design. Uh, I really like the presentation board. I really like the hierarchy you gave to this image um, because it's, it's very, you know, like it, sa it says a lot about the project. Just this image is, is, is very good. And yeah, I'm sure what you guys think in the comments. I would love to read you guys, but let's go on to our next presentation board. As you guys can see, we're trying to go fast with our presentation board so we can review a lot of them. And I'm not sure if this is from the same competition, but as you guys can see here, uh, it's, it's a very different type of presentation board. Here, it's a very strict space. He has uh, some very strict margins to follow and everything is just very meticulous in its space. But if we go to the next one by Devat, it's it's called Little Big Lou, uh, or, or here it says Little Big Lou, but here it says the plugin. So I'm not sure what the name of the project is, but we have a lot of white space. So we have all of this, all of, sorry, we have all of this white space over here, white space over here. We have some margins, margins, margins over here, and it's it looks a little bit a little bit disorganized. Um, because not everything is following the same rule. Like, so sometimes we have a big margin over here. What just happened? What just happened? Uh, so sometimes we have like big, big, uh, a big margin over here, a big margin over here, but then these images that kind of like block the margin over here as well. So this can get, like this reading can get a little bit confusing because it's not, 
very clear uh, how you want to organize your information, right? You have all of this space like right here. And I think it can be adjusted a little bit more if it just follows. Little Big, Big Lou was the name of the competition. Oh, thank you, thank you, Tsav. Of course. So, uh, Devot has some really nice diagrams. Like, these diagrams are really, really cool. And he has uh, a very nice, like, model and details, etc. But here, but, uh, but I think what is lacking is the whole presentation. Uh oh. So, <laughs> sorry. So, uh, for you guys that don't know, this is my cat. This is uh, Baco, and he just sometimes when I'm when I'm working, he just comes over because he wants to me to like cuddle with him. Oops, sorry. He wants me to like cuddle with him, and so if you want to say hi to Baco, just say hi to Baco. Um, I'm sorry, but I can't tell a lot right now, so we're gonna have to do this in another occasion. <laughs> um, but let's continue. Um, where was I? His name, his name is Baco, in case you guys are interested in, in the cat. Um, I would try, divide. I would try to organize the whole presentation board <clears throat> much more. So all this white space, I wouldn't leave it. Maybe I would try to justify everything to the left. So if you have like all of these diagrams right here, I would maybe, I don't know, suggest if you move them to the left, kind of like this, then these diagrams as well. I would select them, move them to the left. Just put this up right here. And let's just erase this part. Perfect. So I think this can be moved a little bit to the left. And these like this this block <laughs> this block of um like of perspective drawings i would move it i would i wouldn't have it in the center honestly i would just have it um like in another place maybe i would have it like all to the right or all to the left so i would have it all over here and i would move move everything back or i would have it all all in the like in this other this other part but having it in the center makes it look a little bit weird. And overall, there's a lot of text that can be a little bit small. So I'm not sure if you need a lot of text. I would maybe consider something like this, where there's a lot of text, but it's very condensed into one space, and so you know where text is. But here is kind of like very scattered everywhere. So I would try to, to consider correcting that. And yeah, I mean, like overall, it, it looks like you put a lot of effort into your design. Let me let me just try and see if we can you know in, change some things. Um, it looks like you put a lot of effort into your design. So I'm gonna try to very quick like reorganize this so so you can see an idea of what I'm trying to to say. So we have first of all we have our what I'm doing is separating this into in like into different layers so I can like manage all of this. So I'm getting all the technical details. I'm going to press Control Shift J, and that is going to separate it in a new layer. Now I'm going to get like this block of things and press Control Shift J again. Now I'm going to turn it off. Now I'm going to go into these axonometrics, select them right here, press Control Shift J one last time, and finally I'm going to select these one on the tops these at the top and press control shift J so if we you know create one of these new layers we're gonna have all of these things all of these elements separated and we're gonna be able to to play with them so first of all this one I would drag it over here I would drag these presentation these um, diagrams right here and I would kind of like justify all of this to the left also I would try to consider making everything bigger because you have a big margin so I'm gonna try to make everything a little bit bigger because you have space for that so I'm gonna drag just grab these three elements right here 
press control T and try to drag them out, right? But still leaving a margin on the side. Now, this these diagrams, I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller just so they justify onto the top. And these, I'm gonna make them like more or less the same size. So if I'm not mistaken, your project is called the plugin. So I would make that title a little bit bigger. So let's call it, let's just type it right here. Press control T because the text is way too small and put it in like in a black color. So the plugin, there you go. And I'm gonna drag it on top. And I don't know like what typography you would like to have. This is Helvetica, like a very normal, like basic typography. So in case you want something like that, here you, you can see like the title that just stands out so much more. Uh, let's just, let me just try and drag the presentation board. Where is it? The one that we were just reviewing. So we can see the before and the after. And one thing I would do as well is, I don't know. Okay, so what we could do is maybe put this over here. Put these diagrams, all the, all the diagrams on top. And I think we can make this bigger. Like we can make this much more interesting or like much more aligned to certain parts, to certain elements, right? What do you guys think? So we have this over here. And I think we, we could try to select maybe this exotometric, which is a very, very good sort of centimetric, and try to select it all. Let's just, let me just try to select it and separate it. So control shift J and maybe this could be way bigger. Maybe not like this, but kind of like this, right? So the text that you had here, I think all this can be synthesized or can be still put on top, but um, just in a much more organized way. And these sections as well, these sections are very, very good, but I think we can separate them and make them bigger and try to put them like on the bottom over here, right? And let's set this to multiply. So I think if you had some sections onto the side over here and some diagrams onto the side over here, everything would just look a little bit more uh, aligned, which is what I think like the biggest problem with this presentation board because the rest is very good. Like I, re I really like the presentation board. I think it, it can improve in a lot of things. But um, if we see the before and after, it just looks a little bit more organized. Um, without even looking at the project. We can also, you know, talk about the color palette of these of these renderings. I think they could have one basic color palette, like if we go for the color lookup. Let's see, let's see, let's just put a color lookup there and see if it looks good. I think I have some lookups over here. Um, Viz, Photoshop. Have you guys used color lookups before? I think I'm using them a lot in the tutorials right now, so you guys are being able to see. So. Okay, so I have some color lookups. It's not a big change, but what it, what the lookup does is that it um, makes our general color correction to a lot to the image, right? So it has a certain brightness and contrast, color, um, color adjustment, uh, hues, etc. So if we see the before and we see the after, we can see. Let me just put this in a bigger, like in a in a bigger screen, like in a bigger way. So this is the this is the before. How it looks just check it take a look at these colors the greens the blues etc just take a look at them and now see the after i mean come on I, I can really see the difference let me just try to crop this because i don't think let me just put this again on top so because that white space is just distracting me a lot and let me just press c for canvas and put it right here so just like this, I see that a lot of things can be fixed with colors. Like, like I would love to like be an expert around colors because it's so crazy. Like how how difficult it is to actually me like get the right color palette. It's it's not it's not something easy. It's very difficult. And we so when we put this like for example in black and white, we can see that the project looks very interesting. 
but sometimes the colors can be a lot like very very distracting like when we put this in black and white you can see that instantly this at cinematic stands out a lot that's just saying like saying like hey we don't need any colors just in black and white you, you can see me like the accentometric is saying you can see me <laughs> I, I imagine all these drawings are always talking to me but uh, as soon as we turn off the colors we can see that all of these perspectives are so distracting to to the eye and these colors over here as well so never heard of color lookups yep color lookups are a way to go if you don't know what color you want to go to so one good like one general thing like one general tip that i always recommend is if you're having doubts on your presentation board or on your images or on your portfolio try just try very fast to put them all in black and white right so if you put them in black and white and notice that it looks better that you can actually understand everything then the problem could be the color right if everything looks better in black and white then you have to change the colors of, of your presentation boards or of change the colors of certain perspectives. So here, what I would do, like here we can see that uh, like effectively the, the problem is the color because we have some very good representation skills everywhere. So what I would do is maybe try to change the color of all of these, all of these perspectives and try to make only one color stand out, maybe the, like the wooden color, and that is it. But here we can see that um, Devot, Devot has some a very like a very nice presentation board, but maybe we can improve in color. So Devot, thank you for sending in your presentation board. Um, very good job, very good job. Uh, maybe take a look at the colors, and that's it. But if you were just organized the whole project a little bit more, um, you can guys can see maybe in the before, be like before whoops before the after that it's it's a total difference so uh devot thank you for sending in your presentation board the next presentation board is, is by steven i i defum i'm not sorry steven let's call him steven uh he sent in i'm not sure if this is a competition like a ds, IDS competition or this is a university project um i'm not sure if steven sent in more presentation boards with his project or this was the only one maybe this was the only one but overall I, I i see that steven has looked at pinterest a lot that he has uh you know tried to get some inspiration from a lot of different presentation boards which is very interesting because he has clear that which is his main perspective of the building and how he wants the sky to just extend so we can see these drawings that are in white lines you know overall it's very good maybe Let's do the exercise on the colors and see if it applies to Steven as well. So what are we going to do? I'm just going to go over here to where it says black and white and put it black and white. And what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think, for example, that it is a, it is a nice presentation board, but the problem is not only in the color because I think that the color could improve a little bit. But the problem is also in the organization of the elements right here on the sky. I think it's just very, like, too much. And it's not, not aligned as well. And over here, we have so little white space. I'm sorry, we have a question. It says, would we'll be able to watch this back after this is over? Of course, we, you can watch our three presentation board live reviews that we have done so far uh, on our YouTube channel. So you go to our YouTube channel, there's a playlist which is called uh, live reviews or something. And here you can watch them like anytime you want. So no worries. So I think this, um, like this white space over here is very, very small. I think it could be bigger or maybe it, like it, it wouldn't exist. exist. But I think overall this is kind of distracting because of how small it is. And then you have like you wanted to do the these kind of renders. Like if we go to Pinterest real quick. Let's go to Pinterest. I think I think you guys are seeing me in a very slow pace, maybe. Uh, so let's go over here to presentation. I, I have like I spend a lot of time on Pinterest, to be honest. So I have a board that's called Presentation Board Inspiration. And there's a lot of different type of boards uh, of, of different styles. 
and we can see that Steven got inspired from all these, you know, one single image styles, which are very, very interesting. Let's see if we can find uh, one that maybe fits Steven's styles the most. So, for example, this one has a lot of elements, just like uh, like Steven has. Like he has a lot of elements in his presentation board, which can be a nice reference. Like all of these doesn't mean that they're the perfect ones, but for example, this one. Let's go with this one. So let's go and copy this image and let's just paste it over here on top. Okay, so this is a little bit small. We're gonna try to make it big just to see how it's being organized. So if we can see, let's just make it bigger. Why not, Steven, why not? So if we can see in this presentation board, we have the same intentions, right? We have the intention of making a main image and then extending the sky. And when, once we extend the sky, in the sky, we put all of the elements. That's it, right? That's like the basic essence of this presentation board as well. Making a main image and extending the sky so we can um, put all of the elements in the sky. Perfect. Now, why is it? Why are they different? Why does this one look a little bit better than, than this one? Well, I think overall it could be much more organized, but uh, first of all, I think it's, it's a matter of space. You're not letting like this perspective breathe and I would let it breathe a little bit more. So let's just try to duplicate this image. And like all of these diagrams, which are really nice, really cool, congratulations, I would make them much smaller, kind of like this, right? Let me just uh, press Control Shift J and I'm just gonna make this a lot smaller. All of these floor plans, buildings, elevations. Again, Control Shift J and I'm gonna put, make them smaller and put them over here. Don't worry about the other ones. We're gonna just modify that just in a bit. And I'm gonna leave that over here. So if I go over here to my, to, to the original one, let's say that we have this color of sky, which is like kind of like a bluish color. Let's try and paint it all over here so we can just erase these parts. And then this sky that you have right here is a little bit too dramatic. Like it has a lot, so much attention, like it's had so much drama where you can see each cloud, each, uh, like all the things. I'm not sure if this is like even a night sky. It may be a day sky. Or if it is a night sky, then it is a very dramatic night sky. But it looks very dramatic. And when we have very dramatic skies, it gets a lot of our attention. And when we get a lot of attention to the sky, then the other things don't get so much attention, right? So what I would do is try to make like a, a very, try to have like a very simple sky. So I'm going to try to select very quickly like the, the main parts of the building, like the main parts which are not sky. So let me just create this selection right here, Control Shift J. And let's look for skies. So let's go over here to, I have a folder of skies. They're not the best skies, but I think it can work for this occasion. Uh, I have skies right here. And then I'm just gonna look for a very, a very basic sky, like that doesn't have a lot of things. Maybe kind of like, do you guys also have a folder of different skies? I think I'm not the only one, right? I think we all do. Um, come on, okay, this is this is my one of my favorite skies. I, I think you, you guys also have favorite skies as well, right? I think we all, we all do. Now, This is the sky that we're gonna have. And obviously we're gonna make it a little bit darker. So let's just go over here to hue and saturation. Or no, let's go to brightness and contrast and apply it to the sky. Let's see, apply it to the sky and try to make it less bright. Let's increase the contrast. And just very because you know this is an experiment we're not going to, we're not like making like photorealistic renders so no worries uh, just press control j over here i'm going to try to extend this sky right here try to duplicate 
this brightness and contrast adjustment layer and try to put it there as well. So just hold on a minute if you guys are kind of lost and don't understand. What I did was, first of all, I duplicated the sky and I extended it so you guys could, um, so we could have a little less dramatic sky. What we have to do first, like the whole sky, like the, the perspective, the sky and everything is right here in this folder. So I think if we turn this off, we have it right here. No, nope. I think we should, we should put it over here. So let's see. Um, yep, perfect. So let me just put this outside. And over here we have like our whole render, like in this folder, like in this blue folder. Now what I'm going to do, I think because there's, there's a question in the comments of how we can make the, the colors a little bit more co cohesive, right? Maybe a little bit more blend between the sky and the color. Is there a way to equalize the color palette from one render to another? Um, where can I download Photoshop folders of brushes and textures? Internet. Like the internet has a lot of things. Just maybe Google the brushes that you want. Like honestly, there's a lot of things for free on the internet. So uh, there's not one page. There's a ton of pages. So what we're going to do to this perspective is first of all, I'm just going to try and adjust the whole colors. So I'm going to adjust the brightness and contrast a little bit. I'm, let's do a color lookup. So I'm going to go for the color lookups and maybe go for maybe one of these hue and dye. No, this is too green. Maybe hilly tight. Perfect. So we have our our perspective and we have our sky, right? That is the thing that we need. Here I had separated the floor pans that Steven had done. The thing is that these floor, floor pans have a lot of the sky in the background, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to erase them. But I'm going to try and see if we just um, if we just set this to multiply, if it just uh, goes away. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's just, just called like luck. Whoops, like right here. Maybe in pin light. Let's just try to make this bigger. And let's see. Okay, so I'm going to try and first of all desaturate this. Let's just leave this in normal. Then I'm going to try to control the, control the levels, so control L, and try to make everything that's black very black and everything that's white very white. Kind of like this. And now I'm going to press invert, control I, and now I'm going to set this to multiply. No, maybe to divide, I think, is going to be the one that's going to make the difference. Perfect. Right? So we're going to have our presentation boards right here. Now we have uh, these diagrams. When, when now we we can make it like a lot bigger. Now, again, we're gonna desaturate this and press Control L. So the levels are gonna be just a little bit different. Control I and I think divide, right? So now that we have our a sky to work with. Um, I think the question is, is like, if we go back to our, to our reference drawing, we just color this white. If we go back to the reference uh, presentation board that we have right here, uh, first of all, it, it has a lot of white space. Like all of this white space just makes this image breathe so much. And it has all of the information to the top. So there's a space for, for everything to breathe, which is actually, you know, all of this. All of this is really, really good. And we should try to have that space in our presentation boards if we're doing this style of presentation boards, right? Because sometimes we can't leave all that white space. So if we go back to, um, if we try to drag the general presentation board back, which is this one, I can see that he also has a site plan which we can separate right here, Control Shift J, and we can. He also has have like a title and everything, which we can also separate. So if we turn this off, and let's see, let's try to merge these layers just so we can be a little bit quicker. Um, desaturate them, 
and let's set this to divide and let's set the colors whoops but I think I have yeah perfect so maybe this color lookup is a little bit too intense maybe we could just lower the opacity just a little bit perfect what about if you rasterize colors? What? Now, let's just let me just get these images right here from the bottom. And let's just desaturate this, these images. Let's just put a little bit of desaturation to the whole presentation board. And I think overall this perspective could be a little bit improved, but for now we're just going to, you know, use that one. Now, if we go to our presentation board and try to see the before and the after, we can see that, first of all, we need more white space for it to breathe, but I think the majority of it is in removing the dramatic sky. And it can also be improved a lot um, if we just try to improve the main image. Like if, we, if you're gonna have a main image, try to make it like very, oops, I'm gonna close this here try to make it very impactful, kind of like this one. So I would maybe try to improve this main image um, to see if it can improve. But here we, can, we, we made a little bit of adjustments, but I think it can, improve, it can be improved much, much more. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me just know um, what you guys are doing in the comments. I was talking in the comments. Is there a way to equalize color palettes? All right, um, now let's go on to our, we have two, two presentation boards left. So I'm gonna try to not take so much time over here. So let's, first of all, let's check on Utsov because I know he's been waiting for some episodes and he's very excited. So Utsov, so Utsov sent me a presentation board um, and he said that he put a lot of effort in pres presentation board, which obviously I can see, but he's like, he still didn't know like what he could improve or, you know, where, where, like what what was wrong or something so first of all Utsov, thank you for sending me your representation board it's really good i really like um you know the whole design i think it's very interesting and i like the choice of color palettes like i, I like that you put the oranges versus the greens i think it's a very interesting choice of color palettes and it's something that we see in a lot of um um, visualization companies like Lutigon, they they also do like a lot of greens and and uh, oranges. So that is very interesting. But maybe I have just a little bit, like a few comments on on certain things. And first of all, like what the first thing that I would have to comment on is the text. Like there is a lot of text over here, over here, over here, over here over here there's so much text like this looks like an ideas competition i'm not sure but it, it looks like you have a lot of text and not only that you have a lot of text but the text is also very small to read like from right here i can't oh I, I just saw your title like uh right here like i couldn't first like the the, the biggest text should be all obviously also always your title so this asha should, should be very very big but but um but i think that you could have uh less text and make it much more big so that with that comment i think it, it could improve a lot so you get, i can see that you have a lot of text over here very good but i think it could be much bigger and less text so that is the for like the first comment just try to make it less text i don't i'm not sure why you need so much text when uh, honestly i have been a jury of some competitions and the first like we try to spend time like in each like first of all like in the general review of all the presentation boards maybe about a minute two minutes you know if if you're lucky maybe five minutes but we're not, like no one is going to spend time reading all of this text if you're pre-selected if you're like sent to the other round then maybe like wants to understand more of your design and they will look in the text and they will see okay so let's see let's try and see what uh, utsav was trying to 
you know, think about in his design and he was trying to read the text, but it's something that goes second, not first. So the, the thing that goes first are these images, which are really nice. Like I, I see that you have some really, really nice images and they're very good. So first I would try to emphasize much more on the images than the text. If we, I don't know, if we just made a test very quickly and try to kind of like, not erase, but try to cover like the text that we have over here. So we would like all of this would be some white space that we could use for some other things over here, maybe white space as well we could use for some other things and maybe this text you need it it's understandable that you need this text to the diagram next to the diagrams perfect but here on this space you could put maybe if this diagram is super important i would make it much bigger right i would you know make it occupy like the whole you know let me just press Control shift j put it on top and i would make it much bigger or I would select a perspective and try to make it bigger as well. That's the first thing. Now, there's another kind of comment that I have, which is on the organization of your, like all of all of your elements. So first of all, you have one general perspective of the project, which, which I think is really nice. I think this, this perspective is nice. It has a very nice composition. You have one perspective. You have an exploded centimetric diagram with text, and then you have some facades and another perspective, right? Very nice, very nice elements. What I'm not sure is um, if these have to be in these in this specific order. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. Uh, let me just erase this again and press Control Shift J. Maybe this could be in, like this, this uh, whole white block could be to one side and this like this block over here of drawings and another perspective could be on the other side right so it could, could be in the middle right so I think if we just change the order of things it would look a little bit more cohesive and now that we have done this I'm seeing that we have some opportunities that we can we can take advantage of so for example uh, there's like this framing that we have of this white space. So I would try to emphasize on that, maybe, you know, try to make three big columns, which make it easier to read. So column number one, let's say this is, it's this one right here, and column number two, and just like that. Now this, um, whoops, where, where do we have our, let me just try and separate this block of text right here and try to put it in a layer above, right? Now this whole, these whole presentation boards, these whole uh, asymmetric diagrams, I would try to make them smaller. So if we make this, them smaller and if we go back and create a new layer and I don't know, color this white and let's try smaller. And even like the text, we can like these, this whole text we could even drag it to one side so it just doesn't get a lot of our attention because we don't need it. We don't need like need it to get so much of our attention, right? So just like this, I think the presentation board could improve a lot. So I think this is the before, this is the after. It's just an organization of different things. Section is amazing. Agreed. Yeah. Utsav has some some really nice drawings. Um like this, this drawing is really, I, I think these like, they have some very nice drawings, but maybe the organization is just everything, right? So, uh, I don't know. I would try and see the text and I would try and see the text over here as well. And if you want, you could all emphasize much more on these perspectives, which are really good. So maybe, um, maybe this perspective can go in the bottom over here. And on the top, we can have like, uh, you know, some blue things, some like blue space, but we can have like this, this, this perspective so much bigger. Or we can have, we could even have like, I don't know, um, like all these sections, for example, we can put them in a new layer and try to make them bigger.
and then I don't know try to put this over here I'm not sure what I'm sure is that you have some very nice representation skills and that maybe they got a little bit lost in this specific diagram right so in this in the specific representation you know we could emphasize much more on these colors which are really strong and much less on the organization of them so yeah i i i really like your your presentation board utsav i think you have a, you did a very very nice job um maybe you could do a little bit less text and a little bit more of your you know of everything else but here i'm just putting like some final touches um before after i don't know maybe it's just my opinion maybe you can put some other perspective i don't know what you think it's awesome that you're connected so we can see your opinion but uh yeah i think you did a good, very good job very good job what's up and thank you for sending me over your image and congratulations maybe i would just check on the text check on that white space that you have and that is it so thank you for sending me over your your presentation and we go on to our last and final presentation board and i'm so amazed that we haven't had any issues so far so it's crazy so we're gonna go with jaime salvador and he sent me two presentation boards but i am only i'm going to review one but thank you first of all jaime for sending your presentation boards uh, i think i think he's from spain i'm not sure but um i'm gonna try to be very quick uh first of all you have it's very cool that you have diagrams you have like your whole project developed um maybe i would try and uh, see like try and question myself like if these se like separation lines are necessary it looks like you you may have done this in in like i don't know in, i'm not sure in what program but um i'm not sure if if these black lines are necessary to separate all the spaces sometimes it can be very distracting to the eye so what i would suggest is let me just uh go back on this what i would suggest is try to erase all of that line all of those lines so for example this part at the top i would try to erase it this part at the bottom which also has like some margins i would try to erase it as well like all of these kind of like mini squares that you have formed in i would try to erase them this square as well I would try to erase it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to erase it. And let's see if we have any more. Like this general line. These, this general line, line right here. This general line over here. You guessed it. I will try to erase it. Before, after, before, after. Um, I, you know, I think sometimes what we need to do instead of trying to put we need to take off like take off we try to um clean all of the like clean a lot of things like the i don't, I don't know what the but the, the best analogy would be but try to clean it until we only have the essence the essence of the project what we need and sometimes we don't need those lines all right i'm not sure if you know if obviously if it's a requisite from your teacher then you can put the text but i'm not sure if you have to have those colors if it has to look so dense visually so first of all, I'll try to erase all of that. Then I would try and see if we need all of this to be in um, like in different kinds of backgrounds. So for example, here I can see that you have a textured background in the plan and, and then this background is different from this one over here. And this one over here is different from this one over here. So we have a ton of different backgrounds and sometimes I would just stick to a white background because when we stick to a white background, it makes our, um, our images look a little bit more clean and uh, the project can stand out much more. So, I don't know, maybe we can do a levels thing and try to bring all the whites up just like this, right? So here you can see like before with the colors in the background and after with the colors in the background. So here we don't know where to look at. But here we know that we only have to look at the diagrams, the floor plan, the section, and the perspective, right? Just by cleaning, like the majority of things that we're doing here is just cleaning things up. So just like this. 
next, like the, the final thing that I would do, like apart from a lot of things that maybe you have seen in other presentation board uh, reviews, is try and fit this perspective, right? You have one perspective, which means that that one perspective has to be the perspective because it has to say a lot of the things that the project um, wants to say, like the whole meaning, like the whole essence of the project is is maybe can be in this one perspective. And you, ha and you have to show it. So maybe I would try to consider uh, another, another, a different type of perspective because if we see the diagrams right here, we see that the, the building is very interesting because it kind of like adapts to the to the site that is in that it is in and it ha and it's very interesting it has uh you know maybe some interesting spaces as well but here uh it's very difficult to see that you just see like a project that is kind of like crammed in so maybe you could you want to show the whole project or maybe you want to show just a segment that shows like the, the essence of the project i don't know sometimes I, I say essence a lot and maybe you guys don't know what it means but um but yeah, just try to consider if you want to change the perspective. After having done that, let's say that you're going to use that as the perspective that you're going to use. I would try and not use these um, these sun rays, like these things that you have over here. I'm I'm sure that uh, you know it's very tempting to use that, but it's um, kind of distracting to the eye right it kind of distracts the eye second i would try not to use transparent people like right here in these people you can see the background i think maybe it, it looked cool uh, so i would try and see if we can have much more sky and make the building a little bit smaller right so yeah i think i think overall um there, there are a lot of corrections to be made but um thank you thank you so much for sending over your presentation board um I would love to see how, if you're maybe going to do another version of this, I would look, love to see another version of it. And it goes to all of the ones that we reviewed here. Like I'm reviewing this. I'm a, like a, I'm an architect, but also, you know, there are different points of view and maybe, you know, these comments are a bit biased or maybe they have like a, they're like, they're seen from a certain point of view. So don't take this as the truth as that. Okay, so Steven said it and now I have to do it. No, it's just one point of view and that's fine. Um, and yeah, I would love to see, like maybe in another version of portfolio reviews, I would love to see um, the corrected versions of these, of these uh, presentation boards because um, I think they can be corrected and they could look really, really nice because they have a lot of really nice uh, touch of presentation boards. And... Let me just change the screen here. Um, it's so crazy that um, that we had so many like so many good presentation boards, so many people participating. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for sending it over. Uh, next, let me just remind you guys. Next week we will have a portfolio review with Oliver from upstairs. So in case you guys are interested in seeing that, uh, then please tune in next Thursday at 10 a.m. GMT minus five, which I think is, is, a, is a nice, um, is, it like, is, is a nice kind of like time for everyone around the world. If it's not a good time for you, let me know what would be a good time for you because I would like to have as much people connected as possible. And if you want your presentation, your portfolios reviewed, your presentation boards reviewed as well, or your images reviewed, send them over at the email that we have on screen right here. We have an email on screen, uh, which hello at showitbetter.co. So that's hello at showitbetter.co. And there you can send your images, your presentation boards, and your portfolios. The, like, how is it going to work? Like, some people ask me, like, hey, what do I need to send it over? Do I need to pay? You don't need to pay. Like, this is this is totally free. No no one paid anything. Do I need, um, like, to, to be of a certain year in architecture? Do I need to be of a certain level? Not really. Like, the, the, the method of choosing is, first of all, we choose the, the, the ones that have, um, the ones that had that, that have first of all the most uh, opportunities for corrections. So the ones that have like a, a like I can make corrections that I think can be useful for all the people watching. 
that is the ones that I choose the most. And obviously the ones that have like a nice kind of like graphic aesthetic that we get that, but just that looks like a very diamond in the rough that we just have to polish it out just a little bit. So it could be, um, so it could just look a little bit better. Those are the conditions, but you don't have to pay anything. You don't have to be a certain semester. You can send it over. So we're going to be reviewing uh, portfolios, presentation boards, and images. Maybe something else in the future. I don't know, maybe diagrams, floor plans, whatever. But for now, we're going to be reviewing these three things. So if you want these to be reviewed, then send them to hello at showitbetter.co. And as soon as they keep coming in, we're gonna, I'm just gonna put them in line and see like which one suits best for each episode. So don't worry if I don't review your presentation board here. Maybe it's gonna be re reviewed in another episode in the future. And yeah, I would love to stay here and chat with you. I think it's been exactly like an hour and six minutes. I, I have loved talking with you. Um, thank you guys for connecting. And remember that if you want your presentation board, if you want to learn more about presentation boards, we have a course on it, which is presentation boards, uh, mastering your presentation boards, and you can uh, access it. And like there's a link, there's a link down below. Um, it's like a four hours of course where you can learn everything about presentation boards, and it's always going to be updated. So in case you're interested in that, then good. If not, then we're always going to be here trying to make different types of reviews. So um, like. I want to really bring some value to you guys. I want to bring some value to to like the whole community because it's it's very nice that you guys are here. That is it. That is it. That is it. We have uh, concluded our third session of a live stream reviews. Uh, let me know like what what would you what, what would you like to name this review? Like if if you just stayed here after all these all this time, tell me what would be a good name for this series like reviewing your work or maybe um, something a little bit more interesting i'm not sure uh, thank you guys for tuning in uh, i will see you next thursday here as well at this same time uh, have a great day have a great weekend i love you guys and bye that is it that is it thank you and i will see you later all right i'm gonna try and disconnect